Hey everybody, Daniel here. It's Friday. I hope everybody's ready for the weekend. I know I am. I've got a couple of uh, pieces of mail that I want to share. A small stack of Paul Goldschmidt cards that I got in via trade. And then a uh, long overdue TTM. Uh, not that it took a long time to get back, but I received this earlier in the month and just have not had a chance to do a video. So let's get started with the Paul Goldschmidt cards that I got in trade. Um, this was through Twitter. I was able to trade some Circle K wrestling cards from the mid to late 80s uh, and got some Paul Goldschmidt cards in return. Love taking cards that don't necessarily fit my collection, get them into the collection of someone who will thoroughly enjoy them and get some cards into my collection that I will absolutely enjoy. So we have this uh, MLB debut manufactured coin here. Paul Goldschmidt, his debut was August 1st, 2011. I wish it had some more information about his debut uh, on the card somewhere, but that's about all we get is the date. However, uh, I have a ticket stub from, or a ticket, I should say, from Goldschmidt's debut, which occurred on Monday, August 1st, 2011, against the San Francisco Giants at AT&T Park. Um, Goldschmidt made his debut that day. He had a single in his first major league at bat against Matt Cain, so not bad. Uh, the next day against Tim Lincecum, Goldschmidt would hit his first home run. Um, I had Goldschmidt sign this ticket and add the MLB debut inscription at a fan fest that I attended, a Diamondbacks fan fest. Um, next up, another manufactured patch card. Uh, this is a U.S. flag patch. I have a version of this, uh, but it's, I think maybe a gold parallel or something like that. It's numbered out of 99 or 49 or something like that. Uh, here's a Hank Aaron Award winner, manufactured relic. Goldschmidt won the 2013 Hank Aaron Award, which is awarded annually to the top offensive player in each league. So one for the National League, one for the American League. Um, Again, significant, I think, because he made his debut in August of 2011. So 2013 was just his second full season in Major League Baseball, and he was the top offensive player in the National League. Uh, he also won the Hank Aaron Award in 2022, last year. Uh, last but not least is this Diamond Kings dual relic card. You get two pieces of, of Goldschmidt jersey. This is numbered to 49 on the back. Uh, Goldschmidt, I he was my favorite player with the Diamondbacks. He's my favorite current player in Major League Baseball, even though he's with the Cardinals. Uh, great player, great human being. Um Quick story, the Diamondbacks sponsor Little League fields throughout Arizona. So every year they uh, either revamp or build a uh, Little League field and it's named after someone in the Diamondbacks organization. Um, and back in... 2017, 18, 19, somewhere in that range. I can't remember specifically at this point. But the Diamondbacks dedicated Paul Goldschmidt Field in Goodyear, Arizona, which is where I live. Uh, it's a field that my kids play Little League games at. And I took my two oldest to the dedication. It was mid-morning on a, on a weekday. There was maybe 50 people there in total half of which were kids from the Little League. Um, and Goldschmidt was there. There were several other individuals from the Diamondbacks organization, including uh, the the new GM at the time, Mike Hazen. And during the dedication, Mike Hazen spoke 
about Paul Goldschmidt and the type of person that he is. And Paul Goldschmidt and his wife, uh, they would regularly make visits to Phoenix Children's Hospital. And they wouldn't let anybody know. But they would regularly make visits to the kids there at the hospital. Um, Mike Hazen shared a story. His wife was going through uh, cancer at the time. She has since passed. He shared that Paul Goldschmidt reached out and said, not just, hey, I'm, I'm pulling for you guys. Not just, I wish all well. Uh, you know, let us know if there's anything we can do, right? But he said, and I, I won't ever forget this. He said, let us know what we can pray for specifically for your wife right now. What is it specifically that we can pray for? I, I mean, whether you are a person of faith or not, this is a good human being that generally care that genuinely cares about others. He's in a position of, of prominence, uh, but he's, he's so humble and genuinely cares about others. So, all right, enough about Goldschmidt, but that's why I continue to collect Goldschmidt, even though he's, he's left the Diamondbacks. Um, I will always collect Paul Goldschmidt. All right, we have a TTM request that I sent out. Um, I got it back within a couple of weeks, I think, uh, but this came back in early April from Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, I got back from basketball coach Jim Calhoun. So I had the Allen and Ginter from 2014, and he signed that really nicely. I sent an index card, and he signed that as well, adding the Hall of Fame 05 inscription. Uh, he is in the College Basketball Hall of Fame. Um, so, big thank you to Jim Calhoun for returning these autographs. I think it looks great on the Allen and Ginter card. Um, I know I had, I, I can't remember if it's a 30 for 30, but there was some type of documentary on ESPN that I had watched about Jim Calhoun and, you know, kind of, uh, it talked about his entire, uh, coaching career and, and personal life and all of that, but how he had had stopped. And then he went and, uh, basically, you know, built a program, uh, at a smaller school. I can't think of the, the name of the school right off the top of my head, but, um, just, a, a great, Great college coach and happy to add him to the autograph collection. All right. Thanks, everybody. Again, have a great weekend. Bye.